crowds in the streets of Kabul chanting their support for the Afghan army. A display of gratitude just hours after the capital was shaken by two large explosions. The first a car bomb not far from the green zone and close to the residence of the Ministry of Defence. Terrorists carried out an attack close to my home. Neither my family nor myself were harmed, but unfortunately some of my guards are wounded. Attacks that, according to the United States, bear the hallmark of the Taliban. Just a month before international troops leave Afghanistan for good, the country seems to be sinking deeper into sectarian violence. Earlier on that same day, in the south of the country, the army urged residents of Lashkargah to evacuate the area, as they planned a major military offensive there in a bid to oust the Taliban. The city has already been the scene of fatal clashes between loyalist forces and Taliban fighters for days. For three months now, the Taliban has been making a deadly advance on large swathes of Afghanistan's rural areas. They've made significant gains in the provinces of Kandahar and Herat, and more recently in Lashkargah, where the army has said their response will be merciless. We promise that every Taliban fighter who enters Lashkar Gar will not come out alive. If a thousand of them come here, a thousand of them will die. Among civilians, calls to flee the area here have not fallen on deaf ears. On Tuesday evening, many of the town's 200,000 residents had already abandoned their homes.